The beloved Pirates of the Caribbean franchise is buzzing with rumors of a sixth installment preparing to commence filming. However, alongside the official news, several wild speculations have also surfaced. Now, Johnny Depp has stepped in to share some of the outlandish details regarding the production. So let's get started to know what Johnny Depp wants to say. And the hit pieces kept coming. It would be, I mean, I would be a real simpleton to not think that there was an effect on my career. The Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, created by Disney, has enjoyed immense success and a devoted fan base. Combining elements of swashbuckling adventure, supernatural tales, and humor, it all began with the surprise hit, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl in 2003, leading to a series of sequels and spin-offs. With its memorable characters and thrilling maritime escapades, the franchise has grossed billions of dollars globally. At the heart of the franchise is Captain Jack Sparrow, portrayed by Johnny Depp. Depp's portrayal of the eccentric and unpredictable pirate captain, known for his love of rum and uncanny ability to escape perilous situations, has become iconic. The ensemble cast also includes Orlando Bloom as Will Turner, Kira Knightley as Elizabeth Swan, Jeffrey Rush as Captain Hector Barbasa, and other talented actors who brought their unique flair to their roles. She goes free! What's in your head, boy? She goes free. We've only got one shot, and we can't die. Don't do anything stupid. The franchise comprises five main films, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, Pirates of the Caribbean, On Stranger Tides, and Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Each installment introduced new characters, supernatural elements, and intricate storylines while continuing the adventures of Captain Jack Sparrow and his companions. No one, he's no one. A distant cousin of my aunt's nephew, twice removed. Lovely singing voice, though. Unique. My name is Will Turner. Regarding the future of the franchise, Disney has announced plans for a sixth installment, tentatively titled Pirates of the Caribbean 6. However, there have been reports indicating that Johnny Depp will not reprise his role as Captain Jack Sparrow due to legal disputes and controversies involving his personal life with ex-wife Amber Heard. This decision has disappointed fans, as Depp's portrayal of Captain Jack Sparrow is integral to the franchise's success. You're claiming that due to Amber's allegations of abuse, you can't be in Pirate 6, correct? Um. I'm, I'm saying that... Despite reports that Depp was open to returning for the right project, it seems that both parties have not made progress in recent months. Disney is now moving forward without Depp, potentially exploring a new direction for the series. There have been rumors that Kira Knightley and Orlando Bloom may return to play their iconic roles, focusing on the Turner family in the sixth installment. However, Knightley's involvement is uncertain, as she is set to star in a dystopian sci-fi film titled Conception, a UK production under an equity contract, with filming potentially beginning soon. The official synopsis reads, Conception is a sci-fi thriller set in the not-too-distant future of Britain, where the government has taken authoritarian rule over parenting. The film follows Rita, Knightley, a loyal civil servant and believer in the unforgiving system she upholds, until unexpected events endanger her own parental status, rendering her victim to the same laws she so readily inflicted on others. Kira Knightley's involvement in the new overseas production means that Disney will have to be patient and wait for an opportunity to strike a deal with her if they intend to bring her back to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. It remains unclear how far Disney has progressed with the production of Pirates of the Caribbean 6. While multiple scripts have been written, Disney has not confirmed a specific timeline for shooting especially considering the ongoing SAG-AFTRA strikes. Once the strikes conclude, Disney will still have to navigate a waiting period should they aim to entice Knightley back into the franchise. This waiting period could add to the uncertainty surrounding the return of key cast members and the overall direction of the next Pirates of the Caribbean installment. About two months before this op-ed was published, that it was being reported, as it is in this article, that Johnny Depp is out as Jack Sparrow in Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean film. However, people love the character of Jack Sparrow only because of Johnny. 
The crew's decision caused them heavy criticism and backlash from Johnny's fans and supporters. One of them wrote, There's no such thing as Pirates of the Caribbean without Jack Sparrow. Another one added, He's the sole reason I became obsessed with pirates. It was his role as Jack Sparrow and I was a tiny first grader watching the film and I was hooked. One more person added, No Johnny Depp, no Pirates of Caribbean. There's nobody that can replace him. Any other actor will just have to be a new character, but never Captain Jack Sparrow. And like Jack Sparrow once said, not all treasure is silver and gold, mate. And I dedicate this quote to Disney. The fans also claim that a public apology from Disney can reform Depp's damaged reputation and can also take part in his firing from the franchise. However, after massive criticism, it is being reported that the production company decided to take Johnny back as Jack Sparrow. However, Johnny Depp's potential return as Captain Jack Sparrow in future Pirates of the Caribbean films would come at a significant cost to the Walt Disney Company. Despite initial reservations from Disney regarding Depp's casting and concerns about his unique interpretation of the role, Depp's appearance in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise turned out to be his most commercially successful project. As one of Hollywood's highest paid actors, Depp's salary for the Pirates films was in the multi-millions. Jack Sparrow remains an incredibly popular character and is often considered Depp's most iconic role. I mean, it was amazing and seeing him create that character, because certainly in the first one, no one thought that it would work. We were all sort of watching him going, OK, mate, you're right. Because it's this kind of it's, swaggering weird. Yeah, it's crazy. It's completely crazy. In recent years, Depp's tenure as Captain Jack Sparrow was marred by a series of legal troubles. Legal issues ranging from a libel trial at London's High Court to a high-profile defamation lawsuit in Fairfax County, Virginia, resulted in his exit exile from Hollywood and the loss of his role as Jack Sparrow. Additionally, he was removed from his role as the dark wizard Gellert Grindelwald in Warner Bros.'s Fantastic Beasts franchise, created by J.K. Rowling. These legal battles primarily revolved around his tumultuous relationship, marriage, and divorce from fellow actor Amber Heard, whom he met on the set of The Rum Diary. The legal disputes spanned years and continents, primarily centering on allegations of domestic violence. The July 2020 libel trial in the United Kingdom stemmed from an article in British newspaper The Sun that labeled Depp as a wife beater. Both Depp and Heard testified in front of Justice Andrew Nicole at the London High Court, with Depp losing the case after the judge found many of the claims of domestic A to be substantially true. Nothing less than everything. Nothing less than everything. The second the allegations were made against me. Depp's appeal request in 2021 was denied and he faced Heard once again in a U.S. courtroom in the subsequent defamation lawsuit. This lawsuit resulted from an op-ed penned by Heard in the Washington Post, in which she claimed to be a victim of domestic and S violence. Depp sued for $50 million, while Heard countersued for $100 million. Following six weeks under the jurisdiction of Judge Penny Ascarati, the jury determined that Heard had indeed defamed Johnny Depp, awarding him $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages, which was later reduced to $350,000 per Virginia state law. In contrast, Heard was awarded $2 million in compensatory damages and no punitive damages. During the defamation trial, Depp's role in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and Heard's role in the Warner Bros. DC Extended Universe were scrutinized. During the defamation trial, Depp was asked by Heard's lawyer Ben Rottenborn about his position on returning to Pirates. The fact is, Mr. Depp, if Disney came to you with $300 million and a million alpacas, nothing on this earth would get you to go back and work with Disney on a Pirates of the Caribbean film, correct? To which the actor replied, that is true, Mr. Rottenborn. Recently, Johnny Depp has appeared to reconsider his stance on returning as Captain Jack Sparrow, with sources close to the actor suggesting that he would now be open to reprising the role. Pirates of the Caribbean franchise producer Jerry Bruckheimer mentioned in March that work on Pirates of the Caribbean 6 was underway, and he expressed his desire to see Depp return as Jack Sparrow. Is there a possibility that he could come back? We'll see. I would love it. I would love to have him in the movie. That's all I can tell you. 
Initially, it was confirmed that Margot Robbie would take on a significant role in the franchise. However, last year, the Academy Award-nominated star indicated that her project was facing delays, which Bruckheimer clarified as a postponement rather than outright cancellation. We've already won that we're standing here, we're nominated. I'm now an Academy nominated producer, so that's wonderful. If Johnny Depp does make a comeback and stars in Pirates of the Caribbean 6, it will undoubtedly come at a substantial cost to the Walt Disney Company. While it may not reach the suggested $300 million price tag, considering Depp's past salaries for the previous five movies, his return would still demand a significant investment. While it is expected that Depp's return to the Pirates of the Caribbean series for a sixth film would be financially rewarding, given the extensive support he has garnered throughout his illustrious career, there are still associated risks. Depp's earnings for Pirate 6 could potentially exceed those of Dead Men Tell No Tales, given the movie's potential success. However, in the current uncertain box office landscape, predicting the outcome remains a challenge. However, there is a growing possibility that he will make a return to mainstream Hollywood movies in the near future, but at a huge cost. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.